Proverbs 19.21. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. I spent my whole childhood wanting to attend a Catholic high school on the east side of Cleveland. My dad coached there for 10 years, and I just knew it was the school for me. It was my home. In 2020, my dad got fired, my mother got sick, COVID hit, and my world came crumbling, crumbling down. I was going to be the first person in the storied high school to win 16 varsity letters. I was also first in the class and in the National Honor Society. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't think these things would transfer over to a new school. My dad wanted me to stay. My mom wanted me to leave. They said it was my decision. CCA was a blessing in disguise. If you would have told me four years ago at the beginning of high school where I would be today, I would say you're crazy. Cornerstone Christian Academy was the best decision I never made. I say that because I didn't make it. God did. It wasn't his plan. It was his plan, not mine. If you have ever talked to Miss Ortiz, surely you have heard her talk about the sovereignty of God. Romans 11:36. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. There is no limit to his knowledge, for God knows everything completely before it happens. Simply stated, God is in control. Sounds easy, right? It's not when you think you are in control. In my first two years of high school, I won the race, I won the golf match, I earned the grades. It's easy to claim God is in control when you're winning, much more difficult when adversity hits. Most of you saw when I was first team All-State this year in two sports, but didn't see when I tried to quit basketball because I didn't see the point of playing at a new school. As you can see, I'm, here, I'm up here speaking as the valedictorian. Shout out Kaylee for letting me win. <laughs> but what you didn't see was almost me up almost every night after midnight imprisoned by the work. Shout out Kaylee again for teaching me there are more important things in life than academics. Almost all of you were here when I got into my dream school on a fully paid scholarship. What you didn't see was when I put my hand through a window the night my dad got fired, or how I didn't even want to go to school anymore the day I found, I found out my mother, the very per best person, best Christ follower I know, was diagnosed with breast cancer. The God of the valleys is the same God of the mountains. God is sovereign and he is good all the time. Having been to two different high schools, I do want to point out three things that make CCA special. Number one is, is our faculty. At my old high school, I felt like the teachers were in a job. Here at CCA, it's a calling. Sorry I, I can't mention everyone, but hey, this is my speech, so here it goes. <laughs> Mr. Snook has more passion for history than any person I've ever met. When he was sick this year, I found myself praying so much that he would be allowed to continue to be a blessing to us with his teaching. Besides him trying to f convince me to go to Navy, <laughs> I am forever thankful for the lifelong lessons he taught me. I will never forget Mr. McQueen teaching us that whether we agree or disagree with the Bible is irrelevant because God's word is true. That reminds me of my dad teaching me the difference between motivation and discipline. Motivation will come and go. There will be days you don't want to do the work. Discipline means you do it no matter what. Discipline is perfect. Discipline is true. I love how the word disciples is derived from discipline, meaning they were following someone in Jesus who is perfect and true. The teachers here are true disciples of Christ who make countless sacrifices for us, care for us, and love us as their own children. I speak, I speak for the senior class when I say we are beyond grateful for the sacrifices our teachers have made. Playing four sports, I also know we have some of the best coaching here at CCA. I will never forget Coach Miller at my district golf meet. It was, al it was almost as if he wanted me to advance more than I did. <laughs> I also want to point out Coach Danny Schakowsky because Coach Dan Man with the plan, man, <laughs> has been coaching me since I was 13 years old. I will Coach, I will never forget how you made me believe in, made me believe in myself, how your belief in me made me believe in myself. You have had the most impact on my life of any man not named Kwasniak, and I want you to know how much I appreciate you. 
the fact that you are my favorite co coach and now here at Cornerstone, God's sovereignty. Finally, with the faculty, I want to shout out one more person, Miss Dye. Miss Dye, I, can't, I just can't imagine someone caring for us more than you do. Without you, this place might just crumble to pieces. The definition of God's grace is what we don't deserve. Miss Dye, I speak for the senior class when I say, we don't deserve you. Seriously, without her here, some of us graduates might not be here today. The second thing that makes the school special are the people. I know we have a small class, but that is not a weakness, but rather a strength. There's not an ounce of jealousy in our class. We love and support each other through the hills and valleys. For example, I remember telling my parents last year that Alyssa might be the nicest person I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and she is. The Bible tells us that people will be able to recognize we are different just by the way we act. I could tell Alyssa was a Christ follower right away. I love hanging out with the grade school kids, especially Ms. Hordinsky's fourth grade class. <laughs> Listening to their thoughts, answering their questions about God, basketball, or my favorite Marvel characters. <laughs> they might not realize it now, but they go to a very special school where people care about them and show them how much Jesus loves them every day. I believe God had a plan, but I cannot imagine what a blessing it would have been if I had found CCA when I was their age. They are truly blessed. And how can I forget the greatest lunch table of all time? <laughs> the laughs we shared making fun of, let's be honest, mostly me, <laughs> are some great memories. I can't speak for people like Kaylee and Emily who have been here for their whole life, but I never imagined I could meet so many genuine, genuine people when I came here to CCA two years ago. The truth is, I never thought I would get to know so many amazing people and build such close friendships to the point where I could call a lot of my friends family. My closest friends literally live at my house. <laughs> you know who you are. You know who you are. And finally, Sports Center himself. The first time I ever met Matt Gillum, I said, why do they call you Billy? And he said, I don't know. <laughs> like Miss Ortiz said, he is special. And I thought, And I thought about letting him give the speech before Ms. Prochaska finally let him do announcements on Thursday. <laughs> yes, he asks her every day of the year. My dad calls Billy the GOAT, which means greatest of all time. He's right about one thing. Billy is the greatest friend of all time and the greatest teammate of all time. Aww. Speaking of teammates, my favorite high school memory was our district semifinal basketball game against Dalton. They beat us by a whopping 33 points the pr previous year. Anybody who went through that game could have looked at both teams and seen that they were much better individuals. We were a better team. We were brothers in Christ. It felt like the entire school was behind us that day and you guys were loud, especially Mr. O'Keefe. <laughs> when the buzzer, buzzer sounded and the celebration started, jumping around with my teammates, especially seniors Billy and David, and a moment of pure joy is, an, is a memory I will never forget. At the end, I got to share a hug with my brother, father, and papa, God's sovereignty. Earlier that week before the game, we had two teammates, I won't mention any names, miss play practice. Our coach, my dad, told us that because they missed play practice, they just volunteered the entire team for the play. <laughs> the guys turned to me and, he, and said, is he serious? And I said, yes. <laughs> He's serious. God's plan, we ended up having a blast and putting on a fantastic play thanks to the hard work of people like Miss Watson, Miss D'Amico, and Miss Bertram. Ben and Ann were incredible, and the chimney sweeps were pretty good too. <laughs> the lesson here, nothing good ever happens in your comfort zone. One way we glorify God is by loving others. I can honestly say that I've never been to a place where people love each other the way people at CCA love each other. That what, that's what happens when you bring people together who are filled with the love of Jesus. Which brings me to my last point. Finally, and most importantly, what separates our schools is a relationship with Jesus Christ. At my old school, we followed man's law, not God's. God's laws are written in his book, the Bible. 
Every class we take, every sport we play, every relationship we have revolves around God's word. As my favorite philosopher, Ms. Prochaska, so famously quoted, we are all miserable, rotten sinners. We all mess up. We are all flawed. Yes, Ms. Ortiz, when Billy was answering questions, I was giving him the answers. <laughs> the truth is, we are not, the truth is, we are not our accomplishment. We are not our test scores. We are not who others say we are, and we are not even who we think we are. We are who God says we are. I look back and see that I now see life in a whole new way. In two short years, I found faith, and I found a family that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. Only God could do that. In a few moments, God is going to spend us forever as the Cornerstone Christian Academy, class of 2022. This is our home. These are our people. Thank you, Jesus, for all of it. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs 19:21. Thank you.